All right, thanks so much, Chris. Household debt in the U.S. hit a record high, and the pandemic is having a big impact on the housing market. Jane King live this morning in New York with the Wednesday Morning Business Report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Margaret Ann. Good morning. Yes, the coronavirus keeping home sellers on the sidelines. So nationally, Realtor.com says that homes listed were down 40% in April compared to a year ago. Uh, Realtor.com also says that new listings in South Carolina declined by about 13% from the previous year. That's actually during the month of March. And then by 34% as you got toward the end of March as well. But what's interesting is prices are actually, for the most part, holding steady, even though the uh, number of listings is down. Well, debt reached a record high in the U.S., and this was before unemployment spiked. It reached $14 trillion, driving uh, high mainly, uh, dri driven higher mainly by home loans. And nearly a fifth of Wendy's U.S. restaurants have been out of beef, according to a study by a Wall Street analyst. Now, Wendy's does say there have been disruptions in the beef supply caused by the pandemic, and it has had an impact on its menu, but on a limited basis. The fast food chain says it does continue to supply hamburgers to all of its restaurants with deliveries two or three times a week. Okay, stocks rose yesterday. Oil prices were up on anticipated increase in demand as things do start to open up. So we did see energy stocks leading things higher yesterday and we're looking 200 points higher this morning. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Margaret Ann. All right, thanks so much, Jane. Of course, we'll be checking in with you okay. tomorrow morning thanks. for more updates.